Welcome back to YWCC for March. The topic is remember. We are going to look at Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. I remember when I was growing up and we wanted to go somewhere with our friends, my parents used to say, remember where you come from. When I became a parent and my children wanted to go somewhere, I said to them, remember where you come from. We were not talking about the geographical location where they are coming from or where they were going to, but how they were to act because of what we taught them over the years. We wanted them to remember that they were a representation of our family and we never brought shame on the family name. We spoke on the home training, being respectful, not stealing, not getting involved in foolish mess. Remember where you come from can be what Paul was speaking about in this pastoral letter to the Philippian church and to you and me today. We are living in perilous times. Sometimes we do not feel safe leaving our own homes. Our government officials are spewing hatred among this divided world, and mass murders are becoming the norm. There are different organizations springing up all over the United States. Black Lives Matter, Me Too movement, gun control movement, but the only movement we really need is a Holy Ghost movement. Remember where you come from, that we are a royal priesthood and a holy nation. We must remember that we are the righteousness of God and that we were bought with the price. We must remember that the world stage does not take precedence over the requirements set out from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe that the apostle was teaching us how to live right in a wrong world, how to overcome obstacles and disappointments without losing our godly character. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.